Good morning. God bless you. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 3 to 5, teaches us one of our greatest battles in this life can be won. The reason it can be won is Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins, taking our penalty upon himself and giving us power to overcome the powers of darkness in this world. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God that gives us strength. Today, if you don't know Christ as your Savior, I challenge you to receive him. Your life will never be the same again. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's still a miracle worker. He's still a healer. He still saves people from the powers of darkness and sin and frees people from the powers of addiction. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you as we look at the Word of God, the Word of God together in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 and 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse chapter 10, verse 3 to 5. The, the Bible says, For the weapons of our warfare, they're not carnal, but they're mighty through God, pulling down strongholds, casting down imaginations and everything that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Bringing into captivity every thought our thoughts into conformity with God's word. The thought is this, capture these thoughts through the word of God or they will capture you. Proverbs 3 and 5 tells us, trust in the Lord with all thy heart, lean not to your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Romans 12, 2 says, don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good, acceptable, perfect will of God. 2 Timothy 1.7 tells us God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. Colossians 3.2 says, set your affection on things above, not on things of the earth. One of our greatest battles in this world is our thought life. And I come by to tell you through Jesus Christ, as we receive him as Lord and Savior, the process begins of the transformation of our mind. And the thought is this, we either, we either capture these thoughts or they capture us. The word capture there is, means make, make it a prisoner. This is an active thing you do. You render thoughts inactive through the Word of God, not by your strength, not by external sources, but by the Word of God. When someone says, I don't believe in the word of God, what they're actually saying is they have no weapons against the war that has taken place in our mind. God has enabled us after receiving Christ through the word of God to deal with the battle of thoughts that try to bombard us and capture us. The Bible says, cast them down, take them captive, taken and held in confinement. That's what it means. Dominate or controlled, owned and controlled. And the word of God gives us the ability to do that. David talks about the overwhelming thoughts of this world in Psalms 139 verses 1 and 2. As David was dealing with overwhelming thoughts, he says, Oh Lord, you know me. You search me. You know me. You know my down-sitting and my uprising. You understand my thoughts afar off. Psalms 139 verses 1 and 2. God's knowledge did not come by taking a test by the painstaking effort of research. He never attended school and took exams to obtain knowledge. We can never surprise God. That's what David's saying. He is omniscient. What does the word omniscient mean? All knowing. David does not say, Lord, you know all things and you search all things. David didn't say that. He made it personal. Because it's overwhelming, the thoughts that come. So he said this, you know me, you search me. David made the difficult questions of life personal. God, you know what I think before even I think it. God, you know what I really believe. You, you know what I really believe about you. And you know what, what, I, what my real opinion is about you. 
and about life. David is saying these thoughts of, of, of his are overwhelming to him, but you, Lord, go beyond my thoughts. So, Lord, let me capture these thoughts, these thoughts that are not of you. Let me capture them, Lord, and let me, by your grace, have a mind that's set on you. When we receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, our mind is transformed by the renewing of the Word of God. And as we study the Bible, the Word of God renews our thoughts and renews our mind and transforms our mind. And that's why Philippians 4, 8 says, whatever is true, and whatever is noble, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, if there be any praise, if there be any good report, think on these things. Jesus gives us the ability to transform our mind. So as we receive Christ as Savior, great things happen. Not only does he save us through the power of his blood, taking our sins upon himself, but he's given us the ability to, through the word of God to overcome all the powers of darkness. God's not giving me the spirit of fear, but he's giving me the spirit of love, power, and a sound mind. He is a way maker in this life. God bless you. The Lord keep you as you trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him. He shall direct your paths.